what is going on my divine my five feminine it is scorpion res tarot i am back at it again to give you the daily bread guidance for February the 25th and the 26th, which is Monday and Tuesday. Again, for Monday and Tuesday, February the 25th and the 26th, we are here to find out the daily bread for the Divine Feminine. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys, for the love and support. Shout out to everyone who's booked a personal private readings. Um, I have a lot of people who've been trying to contact me overseas for private bookings. Um, and it seems like you guys have issues with PayPal. I'm going to try to figure out um, a situation where you guys can, um, you know, send me payments through Western Union. Once I get that situated, I will definitely get some better communication to you guys about how we're going to work that out. But anyway, shout out to all of you guys. Um, excuse my kids in the background. They are out there living their best life. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal private reading, you could do so by clicking the About tab. There's a hyperlink. Um, this is Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If you would like to give a love donation, if this video resonates, you can do so. There is a PayPal link in the description, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the prayer. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here. Thank you so much for showering us with love and light and prosperity and abundance at this current moment. Um, the ladies are starting off the week feeling powerful, feeling enriched, feeling glorious, feeling determined as ever. Thank you so much for just shining the light and just... Uh, I feel like we, we've been having like a lot of good luck and a lot of blessings coming into our lives. So thank you so much for um, allowing us to go through the, the phases that we went through so we can be in this moment where we're at, standing strong and tall. I know we still have a long way to go, but we have come a longer way than, you know, we have to go forward. So thank you so much um, for all of the um, strength and the determination that we've had that we've had during this time and that we still have to continue to move forward. Please give us daily bread for the Divine Feminine Father God for February the 25th and the 26th, which is Monday and Tuesday. Thank you again. Please give the Divine Feminine guidance for Monday and Tuesday of February um, the 25th and 26th. Thank you so much, Father God. All right. So, I wonder how all my divine fine ladies been doing this weekend yes indeed i wanted to just um give a quick mention <laughs> that's fine you can have that i'm sorry it's my child in the background just want to give a quick mention to um just a respect level um in the comment section you guys if there is for some reason, like if you guys don't resonate with the um, energy in the reading, that's perfectly fine. Um, just please do not, um, you know, just be respectful in the comment section. And I do do like a morning comedy thing. So um, a lot of you guys, you might just only like um, the fact that I do tarot and that is cool. Um, but please do not come over to the other um page the videos that I do if it's not something that you're interested in you don't have to watch it please don't um disrespectful comments um in my comment section um let's continue to share love and light and if you guys see that type of stuff in the comment section just flag it um just flag it please um just let's continue to share love and light I understand that I'm not for everybody and I am going to try to um do better um, working on the cussing ladies um, and everyone that's watching I am going to try to do better with working on that you guys but let's just you know continue to spread positivity um, you know I don't need anyone talking to me like you know some someone's my mother or anything like that I just want to be love and light so I appreciate for all of the love and um, shout out to everyone who's had my back in the comment section and there's been a few times that I've had to um, you know get a few people in check for coming in other people's under other people's comments because they didn't agree with something that they said and has attacked a few of, uh, of my supporters and I don't like that so let's just continue to have positive energy and if you see someone um, being disrespectful just flag them and that's something that I have to work on as well you know I, I not responding to everything so um, I 
and, and again I'm human and I'm still learning and I'm still growing so um please forgive me if I have you know snapped on anyone but I really do not take lightly to people tell telling me what I need to do on my page I'm a grown woman I do not need advice um, about how to operate my page and I just would like for everyone to continue to be respectful and just to share love and light um, if you would like to create your own pages I will completely come there and be supportful and share love and light I, will, I would definitely not disrespect you and tell you how to conduct your page or disrespect the other followers who comment on your page so just wanted to say that and um hope everyone had a wonderful wonderful weekend and just need to slightly just get that off my chest a little bit so normally when i'm shuffling that deck because that's the um vice versa deck i don't normally look at it because i just want it to fall where it fall but i don't know i've seen that and I said I want to stop right there. <laughs> Is that cheating? No. You shouldn't have front and back cards. Shoot. <laughs> Let, me stop. Let me stop. Father, please give us guidance. For the 25th and the 26th. Thank you so much, you guys. Can you believe we are almost in March? Can you believe it? Can you believe it, you guys? Time is sure flying. It just seems like the other day we was over there screaming to take over the weights over, you know? Speaker. That just popped out. Alright. Some of you need to clear your throat chakras and um, need to speak up on certain things in regards to your work environment. I feel like some of you guys want to step up in a leadership role and you're just um, kind of that kind of sweet, passive kind of, you know not confrontational type of person but at the same time you know closed mouths don't get fed and you know if you want to be a part of the game you gotta fight so if you want to step up in that road i need you uh, in that role i need you to open up your throat chakra and be a little bit more confident because in this role you're going to have to be um a confident speaker and i feel like a lot of you guys are going to engage further in careers where it's going to be um, a lot more um, where you're going to have to um, verbalize just the thoughts of what's going on in your mind a little bit better and be able to reach people by doing that so yeah get that throat chakra clear all right Ooh, okay God damn it. What's going on here, ladies? What in the world is going on? Victim. Feeling like a victim. Breaking the dawn. The naturalist. Powerful personal growth. Well, I feel like I like we we did this reading already before. Like I've seen these cards already. This is in my head. Oh, smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes. Smiling faces, smiling faces to lies. Is that how that song goes, y'all? Why is that word? Why is that song in my? I, I have not heard that song in years. Why did that song just pop up in my head, bro? Bro, what's going on? Smiling faces, smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes. 
Smiling faces, smiling faces to lies. Is that how that song goes, y'all? Why is that in my head? Somebody is 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 around someone. Okay, listen. All right, listen. You guys. Right now, you're in a point of time in your life where I feel like the lighting is hella off. Hold on, you guys. <clears throat> Better. Better. I feel like right now, you guys are feeling like you are just emotionally drained. You've just been emotionally um, empty out. And I feel like you've been taken advantage of. You've been going through this cycle with this karmic partner, which you haven't really been using your intuition in. And it's time for this breaking of dawn. It's really time for like some very volatile changes and some things to be shaking up in this um, energy here it is time for new new beginnings and in order for those new beginnings to come there's going to have to be some destruction of that past that past and it's going to take some strength do you see the strength and the power that is in this person's arm okay this person is invoking and mustering all of their strength and their energy to like burn down and destroy something that is no longer needed to be there. This is something that you've been taking too long to do. This is something that needs to be done more sooner than later, but for some reason there's some type of stagnation and you completely like destroying that foundation in order for this new blessing and this new beginning and this new passionate foundation to be started for you. I mean, there is a brand new life on the other side of this destruction. I mean, sometimes you got to tear some things down in order for, you know, you to have a new foundation to build in order for you to have new enriched soil for it to breathe. Do you understand? Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't, and for some reason, I just so happen to, let me put this here. I just so happen for some reason, bring my crystals back out. Now, people that's been following my readings since I started doing this on YouTube, y'all know I normally, you know, keep my crystals on my cards. And I just so happen started to, you know felt the reason to bring my crystals out, you know, after I charged them up under the moon and all that stuff like that. So I feel like some of you guys need something to believe in. And I know that these crystals and all of this stuff, y'all y'all be looking at this shit like, man, what, what, like, I have no energy. Boy, boy, if you don't cut it out, if you don't cut it out, you better educate yourself. You better educate yourself. I feel like some of you ladies, y'all need to practice, like, getting yourself rooted again. Getting yourself rooted again. And y'all need to work on your heart chakra right here. And I do have little necklaces that have, you know, rose quartz rose court necklaces and stuff like that. Maybe you guys need to get you, and this has a tree of life on it, new beginnings. Maybe you got to go on Amazon and go get you some rose quartz. Just have something close to your heart that just is blessed, you know. And you can get your own sage. You can cleanse the energy. You can put some, um, you know, you can put some Florida water on it. You can pray your own intentions, your own energy into your crystals. And you can keep this close to your chest, close to your heart. Just to remind yourself to love yourself at all times and to keep yourself in the highest of most high vibration. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because for you to feel this emotionally depleted like that, I don't know what happened over the weekend, but something happened over the weekend that just completely just, you just feel like I just had enough and I just don't. I don't want to say like you giving up on love, like almost, but I, I, I kind of feel like it. I feel like something happened over this weekend. Something that happened, and something that had to do with this comic partner that just kind of shook you up where you just felt like all of the shit that I went through all of these years, all of this stuff, this person is never going to not have 
someone else involved in this situation and I've just spent all these years in love with this person for nothing and you just feel emotionally taken advantage of. I feel like some of you guys might have seen something online and might have possibly seen your ex happy with someone else but deep inside you know there's somebody else lurking around in the background of that situation too so don't feel like this that that listen laugh now cry later ain't that what they always say ain't that what you always say you gotta stop thinking about and worrying about this the situation this person is always going to be who they're going to be you have to try to be emotionally fulfilled and be better do you understand what i'm saying you have to allow, if you keep focusing on this and allowing the thoughts of this situation that you're sitting over here on the outside and not allowing your intuition to move you in a higher vibration, you're going to continue to be emotionally unfulfilled and like this change is never going to happen. This change is never going to happen and it's, and it's delaying this new beginning for you. It really is. You need to... Focus maybe on, like I said, your crystal energy. Get y'all some crystals. Go to Amazon. Order y'all some rose quartz necklaces, okay? All right? Because this situation is, is taking your focus off of service. I feel like y'all just feel so helpless and hopeless a little bit in love. It's taking your focus off of service. It's taking your focus off of what you should truly be focusing on. And that's your craft. That's your... You know, your passion. And I feel like you're not focusing on what you're good at in regards to your your work. You know, your work. Your work. You need to get your energy back focused in loving yourself and what you do and what you bring to the table. And stop focusing your energy on this love. Stop focusing on that. Let me read this. Um... Violent Angel, Breaking the Dawn card. <clears throat> it says, This beautiful angel appears when it's something new on the horizon. She is the color of dawn and awaits for you to become aware of these wonderful possibilities. When she appears, it is a sign that wonderful, that many wonderful coincidences, events, friendships, and changes that you've been longing for are about to arrive at last. She wishes to arouse you so that you will be ready to take full advantage of all the new blessings that are coming soon. Wake up and ready yourself. My nose is itching. Oh my goodness. Why every time I've been doing these videos recently, I, it's like I want to sneeze. My nose is itching. What my nose itching last time? What does that mean? Oh my goodness. That must mean something. Y'all please tell me what that means. Anyway. It's like the tip of my nose is itching. Anyway, the violet, an the violet angel speaks. There have been times recently when you felt that you have lost your spark and that your physical body has been exhausted, almost as if you were born tired. It has been a long night of the soul, but now I am here to let you know that not only has the worst passed, the best is on the horizon. It is faint and it is gathering energy, but it is on its way. Soon, with the new dawn, your new energy will begin to flow again. And you will feel reconnected to your own internal power and your source once more. Your spirit will blossom and your intuition will hum. Please awaken earlier and be ready to begin work on this new project by spending time on, in, outside in the nature in the early morning. The true message. With fresh hope. After a difficult time, something new breaks through and shows evidence of its approach and with your new reality. You have good reason to feel optimistic, cheerful, like something has changed and it's on a permanent basis. You're on the verge of a new day. And in these delicate, faint beginnings, something strong and bright will come. Do not wish to hurry up the brightest part of the day. Enjoy the tender new birth of this time which you have longed for. Gratitude and awakenings, early arisings, and trying new things are all on the agenda when this beautiful violent angel of spiritual new awakenings flies into your life. And, and then right after this card is the um, New Beginnings card with the um, Ace of Wands. 
It's the Ace of Wands and it's coming, but you, I need you, listen, there's big changes. There is big changes coming into your life and it's trying to come soon, but it, you got to understand we all have free will. It's only going to come as, as fast as you allow it to come. You got to fight for this. You really have to fight and stop. You have to stop. I want you guys to unfollow so that y'all can't see this stuff. I want y'all to tell people that know this ex to stop telling you about this shit. I need you guys to use your intuition and know it ain't no better for this other person that they with. Do you think that this person is having... I don't give a fuck what they're posting online. I don't care what they're posting online. If you think that this other person that they're with is enjoying and really feeling comfortable in the skin that they're in with this person, is bullshit and you know it. This person is going to laugh now and going to cry later. Do not sit there and stress yourself out about somebody that took on your burden. This person took on your burden. Allow yourself to find happiness, all right? I don't know what happened over this weekend that allowed, you know, you to feel just like literally like, and, and I think that it said it in the um, card, like you feel like emotionally drained. Like you don't have nothing to give. Like you just feel, I need you to get that spark back, get it back. I need, I don't want to see this card no more. I don't want to see this card no more. Mm -mm. we're not having that in our energy no more nope 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 so that's Monday so if any of you guys listen I feel like you guys are possibly going to wake up feeling like this y'all are going to wake up on Monday feeling like emotionally drained and for some reason something's going to trigger you to go back to thinking about this comic partner I don't know maybe some of y'all's anniversary or you know the day that y'all met or something like that I don't know maybe tomorrow has a significant day but it's a significant day to you guys but I feel like it's going to trigger some of you guys and I don't want you guys to sink deep in this and start to get sad and dwell on the fact that you were emotionally taken advantage of we know that okay let it go. It was a lesson. This was a karmic partner. Karmic partners come to teach us the lesson. So as long as the lesson was learned, as long as the lesson was learned, you've done your duty. All right? And you go feeling like a victim. Feeling <laughs> taken advantage of again. Now, now you feel like the motherfucker robs you. And it's like, okay. And this is the thing. I want you guys to realize when you guys are in this energy feeling like you're the victim and like someone did you wrong and woe is me, you are putting yourself out there. You are putting yourself out there to be a vet. Because there are vultures out there that prey on women that are weak, that feel in, that, they're, that they're in their low moment, that they're sad and they're feeling insecure. There are men that intentionally, they prey on women like y'all. I need y'all to, to clean this shit up. Because I don't like what I'm seeing right now. And this is ending on ground yourself and telling you that you were on the right path. You're on the right path. And that's cool. If you don't want to be optimistic about love, if you don't want to give yourself to any love situations, that's fine because you're realizing right now that, you know, the situation that you were in in the past, that this person completely took advantage of you and you were communicating back and forth with someone that eventually led you to a tower situation. And you're, you, you, were, you were guided by your intuition, but you didn't use it. And honestly, you gave up your peace in this situation. And you came to the situation almost completely full with your table, full with your nine of pentacles, but you left, you left empty handed. You're still beautiful. And if anything, you have your peace and your intuition now and you're trying to rebuild. You're going through your power personal growth right now, but you have to let go of this feeling victimized. You went through this situation. Okay, so listen, you went through this situation where... You lost everything, everything that you put your emotion, your emotional foundation and every you put your heart, every fucking thing into this. For there to be a raining storm and, and, and you had to go run home for cover. 
You see what I'm saying? You, you see them? You see this family? It's like something storming down on them. And they, they were having a good picnic and they're running home for cover. Like some interrupted their, 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 their sunny day. Something came and interrupted your sunny day. But the only thing is when you ran home, you realized that you didn't have nothing to run home to at all. Okay? So there's nothing back to run home to. It, it, it's, it's done. It's done. It's a divorce. A lot of you guys got divorced. Y'all are going through a divorce. And I feel like maybe that is. Yes, that, that that's it. A lot of you guys are going through like, you know, like when you file the papers for divorce, that's one thing. But it's like when you're actually having to go to goddamn court and having to face your ex in court and all of this shit like that. It just brings up a lot of fucking emotions. It does. And it's like, I had to go run back home to get the fuck away from you. And I am emotionally drained from dealing from the situation with you. And I lost everything. And that's why you feel like a victim. And I'm sorry. Because like. And I'm sorry if I, if I kind of was like being hard on you guys earlier. Saying like you got to get over this karmic partner. Because that. The way y'all feel. It just hit me in the pit of my stomach. Like y'all really really feel. I feel like. I, it's, it, I don't feel like crying. But it's like I really feel. In the pit of my stomach I feel bad like you y'all lo you lost everything that you love and you feel like you were the victim in this situation and it's like how fucking dare you you know what I'm saying it's like how dare you it's just like how dare you you guys answer the door I let me hurry up and wrap this up I got gas but um now you're coming to this point where you're going through this powerful what? personal growth you are and you realized after everything that you went through, I know, after everything that you went through that you have to be more careful about who you're communicating with because you see this is but this bird represents her peace. That dove represents her peace because she's in her garden where she already has her foundation. That moon is the intuition and you see that tower, you know what the tower has. It hasn't been destroyed yet. This is the tower when it's, she's first walking up to the tower and she's getting communication. You see, he he sent her a message. And, and, and whatever she said, that message is coming back to him. And as you can see, she's walking up to the tower with her peace in her hand. You know what I'm saying? She's at peace thinking that she's walking into a good situation. But that moon, it's a full moon saying, hold on, baby, use your intuition. You see? And I don't think that you followed it. And now it's putting you in a place where you're not optimistic about love at all. And that's perfectly right because spirit is trying to tell you you are on the right path. Because right now what you want to focus on is your career. And that's okay because the only thing that you're worried about right now is grounding yourself. Grounding yourself. Um, I feel like you want to just, you, you just want to get over this period right now. You just want to get over that hump. You know that um, Erica Badu song? Um... If I could get over that hump, then maybe I will get better. Uh, ooh, I don't know, but it's called hump. Young, I swear, like that song used to make me cry. If I could get over that hump, then maybe I will feel better. Maybe. Mm -mm. I can't remember the words. But anyway, it says, when you detach yourself from the awareness of your body in the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although the pleasant flow is heavenly, your attention and work is needed here upon earth. We're helping you place balance between the spiritual and material world so that you can fully enjoy an earthly life. So what this is saying is, like, I feel like a lot of you guys... Um, a lot of you guys are in your head like well, we were supposed to be this and I, I thought our relationship was this and this this and that and woo 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 this this and that you know you, you, your head is in the cloud still about what it should have could us and you know like or you know even in regards to the future it's just Maybe you're so fearful about 
what happened here and that it could possibly happen in the future. You're putting off this energy of a victim. And spirit wants you to ground yourself because you so in your head about this energy and living in this past that you're not living in the present. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's time for you to go through that. Per it's time for you to go through this powerful personal change because you're on the right path. And God really wants you to turn this around and to be a little bit more optimistic about love. But you are on the right path and you have to move in your own time. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you do have nine of pentacles now. And this is positive. This is positive. But be careful who you're communicating to. Use your intuition. Don't let anybody take advantage of you and make a fool of yourself again. And that's why you're not optimistic about love again. But let me read this card and then we're up out of here. Okay. It says the big eyed beautiful mermaid surrounds herself with floating rich red hair holds a naturalist shell. She is an underwater emotional princess. She is growing in ways in which she never thought she would because soon she will be a queen and she must make decisions. She feels uncertain about how she will perform and when she is elevated and is unsure whether she can wield her power. She is very thoughtful as she contemplates the future, but all around her are symbols of her future success. Like I told you, you guys are growing and things are changing. Things are changing and it's like, you already feel like a victim and you already been through enough. You try to watch your, um, your communication and how you're dealing with people because you're finally just getting your hope and your joy back. And you're on the right path, but you're just trying to ground yourself. And you're not trying to push yourself in love right now. That's like you have a lot of responsibility on your, on your plate right now in regards to your personal growth. And you're just trying to wrap up this thing with this divorce and this ending with this situation with your ex. I know that I'm strong, but most people think that I'm in gentle, kind, and good. And I feel like right now that you're showing people that you're not as easy going in a pushover as they think you are especially going through this divorce like you're having a fight and you're like no you know like you are fighting i feel like that's why you're emotionally drained like you're fighting and you're not as easy and you know you're not no pushover the way that they thought that you was especially in, the, in this court situation like no you you're going for your shit you're holding tight on to your shell you're like no okay um now I am to be ruler. What if they see me as power hungry, domineering, greedy, greedy and controlling? Whatever the thoughts of these people around me, they will change as I will change. And I will continue to hold fast to my naturalist as it is a reminder to me to grow in ways that are in tune with my purpose and my integrity and what I feel is right. I vow to be steadfast and true despite the challenges that are headed my way. I vow not to misuse my power, but I will use it and as a result, I, like you, will grow in many ways that are in tune with my true self and my true purpose. So, just like she's saying, she's just like, listen, I am growing. I am growing. And the people around me, either you're going to mature and you're going to grow with me and we're going to grow together or we're just going to grow apart. But I know I'm on the right path and I, I have to pay attention to who I'm communicating with because you felt not only emotionally taken care uh, 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 taken advantage of, you felt um financially taken advantage of too and as and, and i told you that tower was in this car you didn't see this coming you did not see this coming you were communicating with someone and you were not listening to your intuition and it, and it kind of led you into a situation that soon led to destruction and you're just like look I went through all of that to finally get to this place of transformation where I'm able to stand up on my own and confront y'all and deal with you guys like a boss bitch that I am. Like, I don't care if you guys think that. I don't care what you guys think about me because I had to go through this personal growth for myself. This whole situation was fucked up. Yeah, I feel like a victim. I'm going to work on that so I can let this go. But I went through this so the main purpose was because I am a queen and I am I am who I am, and I am who God put me here to be, and all of this happened for a reason, 
And nothing but good luck and good fortune is coming to me now. And I appreciate it. And I'm not going to let this hold me down. I feel like you guys have been on a high. But ever since you've had to go back and deal with this situation, it's just been emotionally draining to you. And you're holding on to you're holding on to everything that you have accomplished so far. And you're just like, you're watching your communication. And you don't trust this motherfucker. You understand? Because you're on the right path. And you're being grounded. And you're grounding yourself. And you're not letting nobody take you off your damn path. Let me finish reading this. You may be very gentle, appeasing, and a timid soul who is facing a challenge. You are being asked by the universe to step into a more senior and conspicuous role. And you are concerned about whether you can be powerful and still be a good person. The pearls here signifies that you must act from a pure place and from a natural place and treat this quest as a sacred task. The naturalists say you will grow in ways that are perfect and profoundly proportionate, just as the naturalist is. And this is a natural result for you. Expect to grow more and more over time. This time of a spiritual and emotional transformation, which could come to you via a friend who was older and more experienced she will share her skills and some of her secrets with you you could be about to experience a deep friendship meet a teacher who really opens her mind to a new realm of discovery or find a trainer who can teach or coach you in such ways that um po that potentially blossoms and, str and strengthens you fast it says, you may be about to get an after school job that pays good money and you'll be asked to step up and deal with a new abundance in healthy ways. There will be responsibility and rapid growth. Dignity, truth, and wisdom are your best guides. It is now time to take yourself and your potential seriously. Like you are seriously growing. You are seriously growing and I and, and I I know a lot a lot of you are not dealing with a divorce, but some of you are. Some of you are, and the ones that are dealing with this divorce, I feel like it's triggered. It's triggered you for you to feel sad. So, this is basically showing the end and how going back to the memories and the emotions of that old relationship, it really makes you feel emotionally depleted and unhappy. And it just shows you just how unstable emotionally this situation from the past made you. It made you completely unhappy. And thank God for this transformation and this change and that all of this is over. Because this was a karmic situation. And you were the victim in this. And what happened to you really wasn't fucking fair. What happened to you wasn't fair. And there's a breaking of dawn coming. There's big transformations. And it's time for you to step up in this new role. Because you are a boss bitch. And like I told you, we are a billion dollar bitch club around here. Okay? We create winners. Okay? And this is divine feminine takeover. This ain't, we ain't talking about nothing but the divine feminine takeover. And every single video that we are doing is to put enrichment, enrichment and give daily bread to the divine feminine to remind us to stay focused every day. Because this new beginning is coming, honey. Yes, it is. And it's being shown right here. It's already showing you that you got that nine of pentacles. Still use your intuition and pay attention to the people that you communicate with because you broke down that foundation in order for this new beginning to come. It may be coming slow, but it's coming to you. Use your intuition and pay attention to who the fuck you talking to. Okay? Pay attention to who you talking to. You don't have to rush yourself too soon to be optimistic about love. Okay, if you're not ready for it, don't force yourself to be ready for it because you're on the right path and I want you to go get some crystals. I want you to go get you some rose quartz. Okay. All right. But you are on the right path, especially in your career. All right. So anytime that you were feeling off balance emotionally and all, I need you to get your energy focused back together. I need you to grab that rose quartz around your neck and I need you to remind yourself to love yourself. Love yourself. Get you some crystals. Okay. And remember to ground yourself because right now you're not focused on business the way that you should. I need you to get yourself grounded and get back to the money, honey. All right, ladies, this has been your reading for Monday and Tuesday, the 25th and the 26th. I will see y'all on Wednesday and Thursday. Peace.